We are in Port Angeles and we drove up to Hurricane Ridge. Um, we're right outside the Olympic National Park, so we didn't have to pay to go in, but we're going to be able to hike in the park up to Lake Angeles. It's about 3.7 miles up, and about 3,000 feet elevation, so it'll be a tough hike. I kind of look like an Easter egg today. I have <laughs> my gaiters on, my face wiper, my magenta shirt, and I'm carrying a full backpack. I'm trying to train. And I got a new bandana. So thanks for coming along with us. And you can see I'm, I'm with Steve's, and this is, there's already a few cars here. Okay, so, so far the trail has been nice. You can see there's just a little bit of snow here. The pack is heavy. I've got a gallon of water in it because I'm trying to train for backpacking. But this is what, we got our dividend back from REI, and it was a lot of money, like 200 bucks, 230 bucks. So we got Steve some stuff, and then we got me something, and I wanted to show you what I got. I got new boots. They're oboes. They're kind of a winter boot. So this is them. Um, they are a half size uh, bigger than what I'm used to, but that's okay. So they're waterproof. Go like that too. Um, they're super comfortable so far. This is my maiden voyage with these boots. I haven't worn them before. I just got them uh, yesterday. So doing a hike that's as big as this one, I don't know if that was a great idea, but we're going to see. Because sometimes I do have problems with my feet. Um, I think I've told you I have a bunion. I have uh, some calluses that bother me that I have to put callus uh, cushions on them. And so shoes is hard for me to get. I have a wide toe box, whatever. These work for me. I recommend them. stopped for a breather. We've gone about two miles. We're thinking we're about halfway. I put on my micro spikes, my boots. My boots are doing good. Um, I like them so far. So that I need to break them in a little bit. I can tell they're a little firm and not shaped to my foot yet, but I'm loving them so far. They're oboes and I, uh, I recommend them. But boots are a super personal thing. You really have to try them on to know. I don't recommend getting boots off the internet. Other things, yes, you can get off the internet, like gloves and a face wipe. I recommend having your pack fitted and your boots fitted because it's just nice to feel like a... A professional <laughs> is giving you a recommendation and if you go to REI they'll do that for you and so I like to go to REI and get people's opinions that have a lot of um, experience in this so that's we are getting there I think we've got about a mile left to the lake we've come into a lot of snow um, it's pretty dry snow
We're about 10 minutes from the lake, maybe 15. It's snowing and we're getting very tired and cold. What do you think people need to know about this hike, Steve? Uh, it's pretty much up all the way. And when you ask people how far you have left to go, they always say 15 minutes. So be aware of that. Yeah, we have been told 15 minutes once on a trail that was like eight miles long. We were told 15 minutes like seven times yeah. that day. <laughs> um, this one, I think we really are almost done. We've been hiking for two and a half hours. Uh, and I would say we're worn out. <laughs> and like we said earlier, we're celebrating Steve's birthday. How old are you, Steve? I am 25. I identify as a 25-year-old. Okay, 59. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm soon to be 49. So we do get tired easy and our feet hurt and we're... Our hips really hurt this trip, but um, we still want to have this be our hobby. We're at the lake. We just got through visiting with some um, foreign exchange students from Europe. Where were they from again? There are two from Germany, uh, two from France, and one from Finland. Uh, they're studying at UW, but since classes were canceled, they came out here to hike. So um, they have the Alps in Europe, and they were saying that this is, they just love the Northwest. They love hiking here, and they they have an, they're having a really good time. So I was kind of proud of the Northwest for that reason. Um, would you recommend this hike, Steve? I'm not sure. It's pretty hard. <clears throat> right we'll now, kind of turn this way so you can kind you of see the lake. You can't see much. It kind of reminds me of Lake Serene, so it's pretty far to get to. But yeah, it could be nice. Yeah, we can't see the ridge at all right now. It's snowing. It was hard getting up here. Our feet are cold. We saw this one girl in tennis shoes. Don't come up here in the snow in tennis shoes. We have on micro spikes, heavy winter boots. And I felt bad for her. Um, this all, I'll kind of, we'll kind of go this way. <laughs> so you can see the lake with us and the ridge. And... <coughs> Oh, Steve, <laughs> Steve has allergies. He's not sick. Um, it's probably sunny down in Port Angeles. It's probably got nice weather there. We've just got a cloud hanging on us right now. This is Hurricane Ridge up here. It's starting to be a whiteout, so we, we're going to go soon. But this is Hurricane Ridge. <coughs> it's the Olympic National Park. We're not in the park. We didn't have to, we're in the park now, but we didn't start out in the park, so we did not have to pay the entrance fee, which is nice. So it's a good one to do if you're training, but we don't know if we'll do it again. And I'll show you the lake. <coughs> And it is very cold right now. And we're the last ones down. I think nobody else is behind us. And we haven't seen anyone else come up in a little bit. So we are hurrying so we can get down. 
we were coming back and we found a mini snowman and a mini Karen marking the trail. Uh, they weren't here on our way up, but we think that the transfer students did it. Because right there it says UW, and that's where they're going to school. So that's pretty cool. Snowman. That's so cute. I love it. We just got down from Lake Angeles, and I saw this map, so I wanted to talk about it for a little bit. This map says 3.3 miles, and then the sign over there says 3.7 miles. <laughs> so I'm not sure which one is right. That's almost half a mile discrepancy. Um, it, it seemed more like 3.7, frankly. So I'll show you the map. You can come in a little, Steve. This is where we're at, and this is the road into the uh, Olympic National Park. And they keep this road pretty clear. We're here and we hiked on this trail all the way to Lake Angeles. And we could have gone further, but it was way too uh, snowy for us to do that. I mean, it almost felt like a snowshoe at the end. But this, what I've heard and read, this side over here is just beautiful. It's called the Heather Park Trail area and the Clahaney Ridge. So maybe we'll come back in the summer and do that sometime. Um, I had a good day. I'm glad we did it. It was a good training hike. Did you have fun, Steve? I did have fun, Bretta. <laughs> All right, come out here to the Olympic Peninsula and hike Lake Angeles.